A new day means a new model. Google is back again with a new group of models a part of their 2.0 series. Allow me to introduce Gemini 2.0 Pro, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite. Now, Gemini 2.0 Pro is firstly an experimental model, and it is their best model yet for code performance as well as complex prompts. This is Google's strongest model for coding, complex prompts for understanding complex instructions, as well as reasoning. It comes with the 2 million context window, which is just insane, and it also has tool use to top it off. Now, the Gemini 2.0 Flash model is something that we've already seen, and it's truly remarkable, but now it is generally available with a higher rate limit and stronger performance with simplified pricing. Now, you last have the Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite model, which is a new variant that is their most cost-efficient model yet, and it is available for public preview. Now, there have been a couple of tests that are being ran by the community, and honestly, I don't really trust this leaderboard as much as I used to. LMSYS Arena is something that projects this Gemini 2.0 Pro model to be ranked number one across all benchmarks, excelling in coding, math, and complex reasoning. But the thing is, this benchmark doesn't even have Claude 3.5 Sonnet on it, or even O3 Mini, as well as the O3 regular model. Now, it also states that Gemini 2.0 Flash is securing a top 3 in coding, math, as well as hard prompts, and the Gemini 2.0 Flashlight, which is entering the top 10, offering even more cost efficiency as an option. But overall, I can tell you that the Gemini 2.0 Pro model is outcompeting the DeepSeek R1 in coding performance, and this is actually something that is a given fact. But there needs to be more information and more tests to have it compared and to be labeled as the best coding based model right now in comparison to something like Claude as well as many of the other open AI models like the O3 mini, small, medium as well as large. What's interesting is that the Pro experimental model is going to be having a lot of cool new features coming soon such as image, audio, multimodal, live API. But it already has many cool new features like multimodal inputs, text output, function calling, search as a tool, as well as code execution as a tool. And the benchmark scores actually do look promising from their ingrown test where it shows that on the live code bench, it is recording high percentages in terms of their accuracy of generating code, as well as how well it is in terms of its pricing because this is a really cool structure that they have implemented where it is actually even cheaper than before, which is just insane. Because you have this Flash model, but now you also have the Pro model that is even cheaper than before. And today I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually access it completely for free with OpenRouter's free Gemini Pro Experimental API. And essentially what we're going to be doing is having this new Gemini Pro model combined with something like Klein. For the people who do not know what Klein is, it's an autonomous coding agent that you can directly access within your IDE that's capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, using a browser, and so much more autonomously. And essentially, I'm trying to have it combined with Klein to test out how well this coding model is as they have promised it to be their best coding-based model and I want to see what sort of results are outputted with the combination of the two. So let's get started and showcase how you can get this set up. Before we get started, I got a huge new update. This is where I've launched a new newsletter. This is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis and essentially going to be updating you on the latest AI advancements, comparison of different large language models, AI news, as well as ranking different AI agents. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free AI news. So to get started and follow along with what I'm going to be doing in terms of setting up this new Gemini model completely for free with Klein, you're going to need to make sure that you have the Klein extension installed within your IDE. The IDE that I'm going to be using today is VS Code. You can use Vinsurf, Cursor, or many of the other ones that are out there. So go ahead and install this and you can go ahead afterwards and install the Klein extension by simply going ahead and opening up Visual Studio Code after you go over to the marketplace link and you can go ahead and install this onto your IDE. Once that is done, we can then configure up the client extension. So you'll see it on the left hand panel. And what you wanna do is click on the client extension, click on the settings tab, 
and you can either get a free API from OpenRouter or you can set the Gemini uh, Google API key. In my opinion, why not just use the free API that OpenRouter provides? To get this, you want to go over to OpenRouter and you want to simply go ahead and search up Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental and you can see right over here that you'll be able to get this free API by going over to the API uh, tab and you want to click on create API key. Once you have created it, you can then go back into the client extension and then you can simply go ahead and paste this in and you can start accessing it completely for free. Let's first start off by having it generate an SVG code for a butterfly shape. So let's see if it can accurately do this. You can see that it is now writing the file to generate this and it's going to be able to do this autonomously as this is a feature that client provides where it can auto approve everything. So right now it's going to go ahead and it's going to go write the code for this SVG uh, or for the butterfly in SVG and I'll showcase what it's able to generate. So it has finished generating the code. I ran through a couple of errors. I'm not sure why. But I have now copied this code and we're going to go ahead and paste this into an online SVG viewer to see how this looks. And it does look like a butterfly. Definitely looks a lot smaller than expected, but it was capable of generating the butterfly. Now I'm going to test this out further to see if I can get a better generation. So I tried again and let's see what we're capable of getting. Now this is because of the longer context. We have it so that it structures out the code better. We have the main body, the antenna, and then you have the left wing as well as the right wing. So in this case, it was able to generate a way, I would say a better looking butterfly shape within SVG. So that is definitely great to see. Now, this is just something on the side that I was doing. And this is where I had provided an image of the Ella Marina benchmark scores for the three models. And you can see that it provides you a good understanding of breaking down its vision capabilities and essentially this could be really well in terms of having it replicate the structure of something like a ux or even a figma design let's test something out since it has image capabilities i want it to basically replicate this note taking app so i said i have attached a picture of a note taking app i want you to do replicate this application for me please so it's going to face a couple of API request failures and this is actually normal because there's a lot of people using the open router API which is free but in certain cases it should be working like right now and you can see it's going to be rapidly able to generate the code for you quite quickly. So once that's finished doing this I'll be right back and showcase what I had generated. So this is the UI I had requested Gemini to replicate and this is what it had outputted and it definitely looks quite accurate. You have the main dashboard where you have all your notes. Obviously you're not going to have any sort of contents like you see over here because we haven't uploaded anything but you have the left hand panel accurately uh, generated. You have the ability to create your own notes but essentially it got the job done and I was able to replicate it quite quickly for me. If you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more now these are just a couple of simple prompts i've sent in i have been playing around with it a little bit and the one great thing that i can tell you about this model is its context window plus its speed as well as its performance in generating code. It's a cheaper option that you won't face any sort of rate limit in comparison to something like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but it doesn't have the same sort of performance in certain areas of code like Claude does or even OpenAI, but it is definitely something that you should take a look at. Its performance is better in most areas versus DeepSeq R1, as well as with GPT-4 Omni and 3.5 Sonnet. So definitely recommend that you try this out. It's something that you will need to try out before you uh, to understand how well this model is. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on the Patreon as well as the newsletter. Follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.